It's been an eight-year wait, but Freddy Fazbear and his friends are finally coming to the big screen. Whether you're a series veteran or a newcomer to the famous franchise, he has everything you need to know about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie has been in the works for a long, long time. It was originally announced in 2015 with Warner Brothers distributing, but by 2017 the project had shifted over to Universal and Blumhouse. Even after the film found a new home, it still hit quite a few snacks, with multiple directors coming and going. An entire screenplay ended up getting tossed when it didn't meet the approval of game creator Scott Cawthon. He wrote in a post on the gaming platform Steam, I'm sticking to what I've always said. Either the right movie gets made or no movie gets made. I hate delaying a project that's already seen so many delays, but I have to go with my instincts on what I think will be exciting and interesting, and what I think the fan base will really want to see. Fortunately, Blumhouse assembled a quality team of filmmakers. Cawthon gave the go-ahead, and now Freddy and friends are ready to terrify poor Josh Hutcherson. For those eager to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie won't have to wait too long. It comes out just in time for Halloween, hitting theaters and the streaming site Peacock simultaneously on October 27, 2023. It'll find itself up against a serious contender for the crown of scariest October movie, as it will be competing against The Exorcist Believer, another universal Blumhouse joint. Five Nights at Freddy's won't stray too far from the games when it comes to the plot and it seems to be incorporating lore from multiple installments in the series. The official plot synopsis states, The film follows a troubled security guard as he begins working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. While spending his first night on the job, he realizes the night shift at Freddy's won't be so easy. That, of course, is due to the fact that the Chuck E. Cheese-style animatronics living in the restaurant, named Freddy, Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie, come to life at night. And they aren't exactly friendly. There's no doubt that poor Mike the security guard will be experiencing the work week from hell. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. We also know that Vanessa A, who first appeared in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, will be portrayed by Elizabeth Lail. The hero of the first Five Nights at Freddy's game is Mike Schmidt, the security guard who discovers that his new nightly gig is no walk in the park. The first-person perspective means that we never see what Mike looks like in the games, but in the film, he'll have a familiar face. Stepping into Mike's shoes, which better be ready to run, is Josh Hutcherson, best known for his turn as Peter Mellark in the Hunger Games franchise. The actor has been busy in recent years, even if he hasn't been appearing in huge mainstream hits. He starred in the Hulu series Future Man, did some voice work in the Netflix Ultraman series, and appeared in movies like Burn and The Disaster Artist. Based on the popularity of the games, it's quite possible that Five Nights will propel Hutchison back into the limelight, if Freddy doesn't get him first. You can also expect to see Matthew Lillard as a career counselor named Steve Raglan. Lillard is no stranger to comedy-tinged horror, as he's acted as Stu in Scream and as Shaggy in Scooby-Doo. It's a fun game, Sydney. See, we ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, Booker! You die. While Steve Raglan isn't a name that fans of the games will recognize, it's more than likely that his true identity is William Afton, the creator of the animatronics. The cast will be rounded out by Elizabeth Lael, Piper Rubio, Kat Connor Sterling, and Mary Stuart Masterson. You can also expect a hilarious cameo from YouTube gamer Corey Williams, also known as Corey X Kenshin. Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? Horror focused film studio Blumhouse is producing the Five Nights at Freddy's movie adaptation, and they've been involved with the project since 2017. Run by producer extraordinaire Jason Blum, Blumhouse is home to some of the great modern horror movies of recent years, such as Get Out. Megan, and The Invisible Man, along with massive franchises like Insidious, The Purge, and the Halloween reboot trilogy. It's Halloween, we've been trick-or-treating. Are you alone? There's a creepy man in a white mask, and he keeps like trying to play hide-and-seek with us. The road to theaters has been a long one, with Blum telling IGN that it took about seven years to find the right structure for the movie. He wanted to get it just right in order to make the game's creator happy, telling Collider, I don't have the right to do anything Scott Cawthon doesn't like. Basically, Scott is kind of like the equivalent of Final Cut, and it's taken longer than I'd hoped to get the right story. In fact, the process took so long that some thought Blum was wasting his time. The producer told IGN, Everyone said we could never get this movie done, including, by the way, internally in my company. 
I was made fun of for pursuing this, this thing that could never happen, and that always lights a fire under me to say, I bet I can do this. Fortunately, the folks at Blumhouse cracked the code and finally made something Corthin approves of. On top of a killer script, Blum has also confirmed that the Jim Henson Creature Shop developed the animatronics for the film. If there's any group of people who know how to bring something creepy to life, it's the visual wizards who created monsters for Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, and all sorts of Muppet productions. It took some searching, but Five Nights at Freddy's found the ideal director in Emma Tammy, who previously directed the slow burn folksy indie horror film The Wind. She's worked with Blumhouse before, specifically on two episodes of their monthly holiday centric Hulu series, Into the Dark, called Blood Moon and Delivered. Tammy told Deadline, Stepping into the rich, terrifying world of Freddy's alongside Scott Cawthon, Blumhouse and Jim Henson's Creature Shop is beyond thrilling. I cannot wait for audiences to immerse themselves in the wild and wonderful playground we are creating. Scott Cawthon added, I felt Emma had a great understanding of the franchise and really felt that she could craft something that would please the fanbase and keep people on the edge of their seats. Tammy and Cawthon wrote the film along with co-writer Seth Cutterback, and they've evidently cooked up a great screenplay that met Cawthon's expectations. Of course, Tammy wasn't the first person to be involved as a potential director. When the film was still set up at Warner Brothers in 2015, Gil Kenham was slated to direct. Kenham previously helmed the kid-centric horror comedy Monster House and the dystopian adventure City of Ember. After production moved to Blumhouse in 2017, Chris Columbus was set to write and direct until he left in 2021. But that was a big loss, considering that Columbus is a director behind the first two Harry Potter films and Home Alone. All previous scripts attached to those directors have been scrapped in favor of Tammy's new direction for the film. When Five Nights at Freddy's gets ready to terrorize in October 2023, it'll be scaring an audience of all ages. The film has been rated PG-13 for strong, violent content, bloody images, and language. It sounds like it's going to be an intense PG-13, and it definitely sounds like some characters are going to wind up viciously murdered. We're going to have so much fun together. Of course, there are probably some people who are hoping for a more R-rated affair, but this rating really should be no surprise. While they have plenty of R-rated offerings, Blumhouse also has a solid track record of creating PG-13 horror. If you take a look at the studio's most recent scary offerings like Megan and Insidious The Red Door, or even some of their all-time classics like Split, Happy Death Day, and the original Insidious, you'll see the studio has produced some truly awesome PG-13 horror flicks. It seems that Five Nights at Freddy's might just be the perfect family outing for the Halloween season, assuming your family doesn't mind seeing animatronics rip people apart.